What's up everybody? I'm Z Wade, the Z Wade and Z Wade Photo, and this looks awful familiar, doesn't it? We're comparing a prime and a zoom. This time it's the 24 to 70 f2.8 versus my favorite lens of all time currently, the 50 millimeter f1.2. Just like the last video that you saw, we are going to shoot the 50 millimeter f1.2 at f2.8 to compare to the 24 to 70 at 50 millimeter. I want to see if there's any difference between a super premium Nikon prime lens and probably the king of versatility, right? The lens that has made more money for more photographers than any other lens in history, that mid-range zoom. I think I see a pretty good opportunity for a really cool high contrast black and white. And so the shadow on these steps here, I think is perfect for the first shot. Verifying with my gimmicky top screen that we are good to go. Look at that noob tube action. Okay, so I think this wood, weird looking wood, hairy wood, that looks like hairy wood. I think this will be good for, for the texture that I'm looking for. Now very carefully, can't lose my position. If this video gets 150 likes, I'll take a spin of the Z-Wade Photo prize wheel. You could get a terrible gift, like a free insult by Z-Wade Photo, or you could win an awesome gift, like a $25 B&H Photo gift card. The prize or punishment could be yours if this video gets 150 likes. Now we just need to head back to the studio. I almost hit my camera. Now we just need to head back to the studio and check these out in Lightroom to see if there's any real differences. Looking at these two, uh, right off the bat, there is some vignetting on the 24 to 70, which I'm pretty sure everybody knows by now. And if I zoom in, the 51 to marginally, we're splitting hairs, is a tiny bit sharper or the nature of the shadows in those little small details, it just makes it appear sharper. So I'm looking at right here and right here at a distance, the 51.2 looks like it would be of higher quality, but the 51.2 does just have richer shadows and more details in those shadows, it seems. And then also we have a color difference. So this is really what this would look like. The 51.2 is really um, honest with its color and the 24 to 70 exaggerates a little bit. So you can see that these all kind of look the same while the 51 2 there's more variation in the colors, which is the way it really is small differences, but we're going to do an edit real quick and uh, I'm going to throw that up for you. Let me know in the comments which one you think is better. Looking at our next image, the 51.2 again seems like it is the sharper tool. And also interestingly enough, in the background here, these little speckles of paint that has started to fade, it actually kind of turns into bokeh balls on the 51.2 and it's just kind of creamy on the 24 to 70, but it's a lot more soap bubbly on the 51.2. But also on the 51.2, you have a little bit of green fringing right here. And then you have some greenness in the shadows in this particular sample. And you don't see either of those on the 24 to 70. Again, the 24 to 70 has a certain color cast, I guess, to it, a little more warm, whereas this 51.2 is kind of true to life. And although we can't really expect corner to corner sharpness at f2.8, it's just <laughs> too shallow of a depth of field. Things do seem to be a little more controlled out in the bottom corner on the 51.2. That's both in the kind of out of focus area, looks a little cleaner and smoother. It's a little more messy on the 24 to 70. And these little tiny small details are just way more in order 
on the 51 too. But again, this is like super extreme pixel peeping we're doing here, guys. And again, the 50 millimeter F1.2 is more accurate on the skin tones, on the color, and it's just more flattering. It's, it's more crisp. It has like better clarity is what I'm seeing right here. But I mean, it's such a small difference. Technically, it's got a softer background as well, but that could easily be fixed. And we can see that vignetting too, but I mean, that's also easily fixable. But I'm about to throw up a black and white edit of both of these images, and you're going to see where the 50 millimeter really, really shines. If we look at the 24 to 70, yeah, it looks great. But if we look at basically the exact same edit on the 50 millimeter, f 1.2 not only do we have this pop with the subject from the background but there's pop in the inner details of the subject itself this is the only sample that i have confidence you guys will actually see a difference on when you're watching this on youtube honestly guys i remember the days when choosing a zoom over a prime was really a huge difference but nikon is doing so good with their lenses that it's getting harder and harder to see the difference between a really high quality zoom and a less expensive prime. Now the 51 II is a very expensive prime, but I'm confident that you get these kind of results with the 40 millimeter F2 and the 28 millimeter F2.8. It's just so crazy how good optics are getting that really it's coming down to, do you want the aperture or do you not really need it? And you would rather just have the convenience. I've said before that lenses are kind of becoming less fun, but at the same time, doing a review like this is telling me that they're getting less fun, but way more impressive. In the comments, let me know which one you would prefer to take out into the field. I'm Z-Wade, the Z-Wade, and Z-Wade Photo. Stay sharp, YouTube.